Hey, listen, so as I'm finishing my workout, right, today, you see it's kind of gloomy. You see the clouds, right? It's not a great day for most people in their minds to be working out, right? Well, I'm worshiping, praising on my workout, nice, tranquil, off the water, you know, walk, jog today. But as I'm getting my exercise in, right, I have a question for my athletes, right? And even the parents of my athletes. If the athletes don't do the work, who's gonna do it for them? Parents, you can't do the work for them. You're not shooting a jump shot. You're not playing defense. The coaches can't do the work for them. The coaches can call a play. The coaches haven't missed the layup. The coaches haven't committed a foul, right? The coaches can't make the athletes work. They have to work themselves. So as I'm here and I'm walking along this golf course, right? You see it, nicely manicured golf course in back of me. But take a look, right? Take a look, it looks nice. It looks very nice, but you see? See those gentlemen back there? And if you look further, you got other people cutting the grass. They out here early. They out here getting it in. Before the golfers come, or even while the golfers are here, right? working on the green. Well, same thing for my athletes. You may look online, you may be watching other people, and it may look good. You may want those results. Parents, you may see other athletes, you know, well, this person is on my team, they got this offer. You know, this person is on my son or daughter team, they got this opportunity. But you don't necessarily know what they're doing doing see that you don't know what they're doing why everybody else is not around you just show up and see and say well hey there how you doing my friend all right yes sir i'll make you famous huh he said make me famous listen that's the thing so many people want to be famous but not a lot of people out here doing the work they're not out here doing the work so parents, stop making excuses for your athlete if they're not gonna do the work, right? It looks good. It looks good on Instagram, looks good on Facebook, on whatever else it may be, Snapchat, whatever, it looks good. But who's gonna put in the work? Well, I'm walking right now, you see the, the, the raindrops drizzling. Somebody has to do the work, right? I have to do the work for myself if I want it to be done, right? Well, a lot of times, we don't know what to do. Those guys back there say, hey, make me famous. Somebody had to train them. Somebody had to teach them on how to do the job correctly and effectively, right? Most people just have coaches just to give them things. What your athlete need is a coach that's gonna teach them and show them how to grow into the person and into the athlete that they need to become to be successful, right? Them greens look real good back there. That's because people working on them. But if you come in the afternoon, you just say, whew, it looks totally good. It must, they must do it by itself. It don't. You saw the back here. You saw the people working. I'm out here working. The only way that I've got in the condition that I've gotten in, lost the weight that I've lost, got in the physical shape that I've gotten in, is because I had to do the work. My athletes, my clients, the reason that they get scholarship offers, the reason that they get recruited more is because they've learned how to not only do the work, but what work they need to do to not only help them better, to become better on the court, but become better off the court. You have to be first and then you can do. So your athlete has to become that person that can do the things that they see, just like the manicure golf course. I hope that makes sense. All right. Let me finish jogging the rest of this workout so I can get back to my car before the downpour really comes. All right. Talk to y'all later. Coach Carville, baby. Peace.